guys, welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner. Today I wanted to share with you this free digital download from Rachel Voss Designs. Now this is over on her blog and I will have the blog name and a link for you to find this down below. I took the image and I repeated it four times on my word program and then made it so that I could cut out four panels for four different cards. The first way that I'm going to color this image, which I'm going to be sharing with you today, was a memory that I have from a very long time ago of a um, teak vase that I absolutely fell in love with so many years ago but could not afford to buy. It was a wooden teak vase. It was two-toned. It had a lighter color and a darker color bottom and it was just so beautiful and it was the exact same shape of this vase. So that was my inspiration for the coloring. So to color it, I'm just going to take some browns in the colors that I kind of remember this vase being and going to try to make it look wood like. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. And then um, the flowers, I'm going to just color in some pinks and a purple and a yellow and color in the leaves as well as the um, design that's on this vase, I made that to look like leaves as well, which is what I believe it is. So like I said, this is a free download right now over on, on Rachel's um, website. So you can go on over and get it for yourself. It's an instant download, no credit card, nothing like that needed. All you've got to do is just download it. You can do it right from her blog, which so many of our crafty companies that do digital images are offering free ones. Gerda Steiner has quite a few for free and just so many companies are offering free digital designs right now, which is amazing because if you guys are anything like me right now, you are stressed out of your mind. Or is it just me? I don't think it's just me, but you guys know that I'm anxious anyway that I have anxiety issues, I always have, and um, this has just got me in a world, in a world of a mess right now, that's all I can say. So what else is new? I have been absent from YouTube since the beginning of the year. Guys, I just have not been able to get back into the groove after the holidays. It's like from October, November, December, I just dwindled. And I think part of that is just also, I'm not buying as much. I'm not, I'm just not super loving so much of what the companies have to offer right now. I am, I'm totally and madly still in love with the Not Too Shabby Shops images, her stamps and her digital images. And um, I'm liking some new stuff that I'm seeing here or there, like, um, I, well, I can't even think of it right now, but I'm really not. I've scaled down. Um, I've pared down and scaled down. I'm working with tried and true things like my favorite Copics, my favorite pencils, my favorite watercolors. I'm not really buying any more Copics or trying anything new. It's like my mindset has just completely changed. And you guys saw that coming. I mean, along. Uh, probably two years ago, but especially a year ago, you saw me going in that direction. I'm just not, I'm just not into the over buying and, and hoarding and storing and then trying to de-stash. I just don't want to do that. I want to buy something and love it for the time that I can use it and then pass it along and not over buy. I, and I'm just not that in love with so many things with this new mindset nowadays. Um, if I really love it or if I need it, I'll buy it, you know, as in cardstock or paper or, you know, new ink refills for my favorite. But I'm just really, I've, I'm really paring down even my Copics to just my basic color combos that I love. And that's what I reach for. I saw um, a couple of people here on YouTube who were doing um, like a capsule craft something or other. I can't say that I'm doing that uh, because I've already done this. It's just something I've pared down and it's it's become more and more manageable and I like it. 
Um, I'm sticking with the companies that I love and just getting the things that I absolutely love from them. And that's just where I've been going. And if you guys are still interested in that, then follow me along because I'm going to be starting my channel back up again. I'm getting pumped up as we speak. <laughs> the, um, the design that you're looking at right now are part, is part of some of the things that I am enjoying, and that is digital images. So I actually found Rachel Voss Designs on Facebook. I saw a digital image that she had, um, or somebody had shared, and I went over and w wanted to download it from her and had a I don't I had a question or something and started looking at her Etsy shop and I look everything that was in her shop at that moment were florals and you guys know how much I love florals now that's not all that she does she does other things as well but right this second that's what's in the shop and um, I just absolutely loved it so I started creating for her and I am enjoying it so much I look forward to printing out that image and making it look just the way I want to as far as placement and size and then I color it in whatever medium I choose and I just really like that. I really have become a big fan of digital images because they're stored on a computer, they're not taking up space in my home and I can make them to be whatever size I want to and there's no messy ink or stamping required. I printed out on my already owned printer. I love that absolutely love it. So I'm going to be sharing with you um, here coming up in a few videos as well some of the other designs and cards that I've done for Rachel Voss. So just be aware of that. That is coming because I have been posting over on Instagram. If you follow me you've seen um, the cards that I've been posting over there. But I haven't stopped crafting. I'm still crafting when I can. I just kind of stopped filming. I started in October, I think somewhere around October. I just started creating for my own enjoyment. Um, and I did join a couple of groups, one of which was that, you know, use your six by six paper group that I'm in, which I completely did not film for this month, guys completely did not film. I had done a few things for it, but never got around to filming, editing, or posting the video. Craziness had been going on in my life, and now it's even worse. Just could not get it done. So I'm hoping to get a video up next month for that group, and um, I'm just going to be sharing with you some of my the things that I'm loving right this second and the little things that I do buy here or there and just start making videos again. Just start doing it. They will always be voiceovers, however, because as you know, those beautiful little grandchildren of mine live here and um, well, as beautiful as they are, quiet is not anything that they are. They are crazy, loud, busy, 24-7. I think they even still talk in their sleep, all three of them. So, you know, it, there's not a quiet moment to be had. Right now, I'm hiding in my bathroom doing a voiceover for this video. True story. Yep. Even when they're outside, they're loud, guys. And, you know, we're not going or doing anything right now because of the whole virus, which is... the Girls, this virus has got me stressed out. Stressed out. You can't find food, you can't find, you gotta go to seven stores to find anything and people are wearing masks and gloves and you know, I'm, I'm already a germaphobe and now I'm more anxious than I even was before. Nothing about this virus, nothing about this virus. You can't, you know, they're telling you stay home. How do you stay home when you've got to buy food for a family? You can't stay home and you can't just go buy it and come home. It's, it's, you got to go out over and over, over the course of a week to five different stores just to find what you need. Not stock up, just find what you need. It's craziness, absolute craziness. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. That's for sure. It really is. <clears throat> um, on top of that, I did catch a cold, which, you know, scared the living bejesus out of me. The children caught colds. Um, Pukachu had a temperature of 104 for five days straight. Five days straight. 
He got a horrible cough. He didn't feel well. He was lethargic. He was all of those things. And that's when we were just starting to hear about the virus, right? And we took him to the doctor and he had inner ear infections. That's what he had. The baby also ended up with inner ear infections. And Christina just caught the same cold that I have, that daddy had, mommy had, grandpa had. Because you know it's it goes around in a house like like craziness. And that's all I can think about is if we really did get this virus in this house with all of us in here, wow, who's going to take care of who? You know what I'm saying? It would be craziness. So I've done some pinks and I believe these are just in the rose family. I add a little R something in there to give it a little red hue to it. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of purple on this other flower and then a little yellow for the middle flower. And then we're just going to put it together. This is going to be a very simple get well card, right? And you could, of course, fussy cut this out if you wanted to pop it up and give it some dimension. You could, um, with digital images, you could take another vase or vase or a pot or something. And I have something coming up next month I'm going to share with you. Um, and you could add two or three of them together on one page. You could cut the flowers off and, you know, make a just vase so many things. Now you could do that with your stamps as well. You could, you know, um, mask and do all of that sort of thing. I just really enjoy the fact that I can store this on a computer and be able to do it and find it very easily and not have to clean the stamp or ink it or any of that stuff. I really, really like digital images and I really enjoy coloring and painting. So, um, like I said, I haven't stopped doing it. I just started doing it for my own enjoyment and not for filming factors. You know, not, I always loved showing you guys what I was doing. That wasn't the issue. I've always enjoyed this community and I've enjoyed sharing stuff with you guys. I just didn't enjoy the having to do it thing which goes along with having a lot of commitments from design teams and things of that nature, um, which was just insanely crazy for a while there. It was, I'm not going to lie, it was, it was crazy. It was so crazy, in fact, I swore I would never be on another design team. That's the truth. But I have, I've joined Rachel Voss's design team, and I do spot, I'll accept a spot host here and there especially for the companies that I love or well mainly only for the companies that I love and you guys already know who that is who they are and um, but I really enjoy I, I'm enjoying this so I'll be sharing some things with you with this company in particular coming up but as well as the other things that I've been doing I've been making creations and um, doing some paintings and working on some different things I just haven't been filming them. So you will be seeing me again. So now I've taken that panel and I cut it down a little bit more. You may not can tell here, but I cut it down so that it would be just a little bit smaller than an A2 top folding card. And then I took some blue gray, um, not blue gray, purple gray, right? Purple blue cardstock that kind of matched the purple flower in that floral arrangements. I also thought the purple looked very good with the brown. So I took that, I cut it an eighth of an inch larger just to give it a little bit of a panel on here. Now the other thing that I did here is I just took my removable tape as you're seeing on here. I take the removable tape, I get it all, this is something new I've started doing because of my eyesight. I get it in place to how I like it, where I want it to be, right? And once I'm sure it's where I want it to be, then I just peel up a section and glue it down, put it back down and peel up the other section and glue it down. And that way I know I can get it off easily. And that's a tip for you guys. If you don't see so well anymore, it's just a great way to be able to see um, to get it to where you want it to be exactly and then I just glue it down afterwards. So I place it down with this removable tape 
and then I peel it up on one side and um, put my glue down or my permanent tape and then do the other side. It works perfect. I added this little whimsical looking get well and I think that made the perfect card. I hope you guys love this video. I can't wait to see you on a regular basis. Please let me know in the below section how your month has been going and how do you like that homeschooling? Good gravy guys. Love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.